Graph the absolute value equation. There's a shortcut for absolute value equations, and it requires you to uh, memorize this little formula right here. Y equals A times the absolute value of X minus B, close the absolute value, plus C. What A does is A is the number living in front of the absolute value. If A is positive, it opens up, and it acts as a slope. So A is your slope. If A is negative, it opens downwards like that. B tells you where to move left or right, depending on if it's positive or negative, and C tells you where to move up or down. So when I look at this, I have an invisible one living in front of my absolute value, which means my slope is going to be ones opening up like that. Okay, that's my slope. Now you have to be careful. This is x minus b. So if I'm comparing this to x minus b and negative 2 equals negative b, that means b equals 2. So where I'm going to start this is I'm going to move it to the right 2. So basically whatever that is is opposite from what we're used to. c here is minus 4, so we're going to start out by moving down 4. That's my c. Okay, so I go right 2. I go down 4, and I put a dot. My slope is positive 1, so we're going to go up 1, right 1 a bunch of times, up 1, left 1 a bunch of times, and make as many dots as we can, like so. Once we have all of our dots, we connect them, like that. I'm not good at drawing lines, as you can see from me just going wobbly right there. Awful. But that's the idea. If I knew how to draw straight lines, it would be a whole lot better. But again, uh, yeah, you use this guy right here to find slope and where you move. And once you move it, move it like the Madagascar animals, you're in good shape.